Hi friends, um, I'm just taking five minutes out of a quite a busy schedule um, because I don't want to forget something that happened to me, can you believe this, 14 years ago. Now I know various people might joke about memory loss and that kind of thing but when things are happening in your life and God comes into a situation and I mean this sincerely and you know that it has a huge or may well have a huge effect on people's lives I think uh, by just sitting down for five minutes and watching these people do what they're doing on TV is okay I mean but what I'm going to share with you links up to other stuff on the KCTV site in the British zone which really is out of this world. Now I had a small business um, with a colleague some 14 years ago now linked up with UCB uh, in England and things were going okay uh, we were just about to strike on the contract to supply testimonial cards with people's stories in the cards and everybody was getting quite excited but I want to say this to you the enemy okay and there is an enemy trust me um, tried its utmost to um, I suppose you could say steal the thunder so Chris actually phoned me up on this day because we were going to meet just the other side of Han Church but he couldn't make it he said brother can you please pray for me because I have things happening in this house at the moment where I have books literally flying through the air um, some of these books I think were on fire going through walls and also water running upstairs and flooding the, the staircase and there was so much confusion um, he said I've got to go I've got to go and lay a fleece out and ask the Lord to help and to change the situation that we were in because it was a very difficult situation for Chris and his mother who was in her 90s she needed full-time care and the situation wasn't good so he said what I'm going to do I'm going to go on the Yorkshire Moors I'm going to um, put a fleece out I'm going to pray and see what happens this is what happened at five o'clock thereabouts in the afternoon Chris phoned me up and he said you're not going to believe what's happened this afternoon Oz I said try me Chris and I said is it good news and he said well I'm not quite sure how to go about this but this is what happened on top of the moors cold drizzly not very nice Chris could hear his own name in the distance so he had the good sense to stand still and just try and see who was calling out his name a few minutes went by and the, the name was still being shouted Chris if you're there can you please stop walking I've got something for you now let's be honest about that if you can imagine going on any hill and hearing your name being called how would you feel well all I can say was that Chris said he waited about 15 20 minutes and that name was getting louder so in the end this chap was walking towards Chris and I know Chris being quite a strong guy was getting a bit concerned 
They said, is your name Chris? And the full name was shouted out. And Chris said, look, what do you want? He said, I've got something for you, Chris. He said, I'm a school teacher and I work at a school down in the valley below. And the Lord has told me to come up here and give you three discs about Freemasonry. And you are to copy them and hand them out to your friends. So Chris took the discs that were handed over and just was absolutely, I suppose you could say stricken, but the reality was Chris had been in other similar supernatural God situations where things like this happened. And he said, give me the, give me the discs and I will hand them out to my brother. That was me. These discs are now on the website, which you can listen to. If you go to the British Zone, and if you look at the top of the page, you'll see a reference to Brexit. If you click on that particular link and follow the link through to the end you will see numerous video clips the three video clips that I'd like you to watch are provided there this information has been on the internet for over 12 years now because after receiving these discs from my friend unfortunately I lost them and then two years later at my home in Gloucester I was able to put them on the internet and onto this site called KCTV Media the K stands for Kingdom the C stands for Creative TV Media com you're going to see a lot of information on this website and this is going to help a lot of people who are frightened to know what is really going on today. We believe that this information will bless you, it will encourage you, it will strengthen you and that from this site you will want to share this information with other people, especially if they're Freemasons, because they've been hoodwinked by Satan to do his bidding. Now, this is a true story. This is very, very real. What I've just shared with you happened 14 years ago. We are living in incredible times. And I hope that once you've listened to this particular testimony, this personal testimony, that you will never forget it because this is real. God is doing a lot of things at the moment. He is calling out to people, doing bizarre things doing supernatural things because this is the time we're in and there's a lot of pressure and stress over this thing called Brexit but God is in charge he's the one that has a solution to the situation and my dear friend in a second you're going to hear another little testimony which I will play because it will help you to realize that things are definitely, definitely changing for the better. Three. Hello. We're calling this press the pause button. The reason being a gentle encouragement to you to press pause before you 
make the most serious decision you have to make on the 23rd of June. Do you vote in or do you vote out? In 1992, I took on a role to work with the Eurosceptic MPs, through which time I learnt much, and to their credit, that their scrutiny of the content of the European Communities Bill gave them intractable evidence to declare that the legislation was not wise for us to accept. I was astonished when the votes were counted, the bill proceeded forward. I recall a letter sent in to our office which stated simply, Maastricht equals mass trick. Never more clearly or succinctly could it be stated. The challenge to our population, and in this brief audio note message to you, is to please understand the vote asked of you on the 23rd of June has much more to do with your own life and destiny than that of our nation. We need to know what we're signing up to. The truth is, without exaggeration, the politicians are not doing their utmost to make sure we understand. But I can assure you, this vote will not determine all is rosy, easy. No, not for sure. But it will determine for us individually where our trust is. I can emphatically suggest that if our trust is in politicians, whether they say leave or remain, that's not it. The necessity is, as most of us have discovered already in life, you cannot trust in the frailty of man. He or she may mean very well, even to declaration of love. But things come along, and commitment changes, and results in separation. It is interesting that God so loved the world that he sent his son, don't you find? Perhaps if you have not yet accepted the reality of that, may I express it differently? God knew we would face all manner of difficulties in our lives. So he made possible for us a way not to rely on ourselves, but on him. When I was around five years of age, I realized I needed help because my parents were not, shall we say, at one. I asked God to help, and I told him I wanted to give my life to be a helper to his purposes. Growing up with a father who belonged to the Wesleyan Church and a mother who belonged to the Anglican caused confusion for me. Age 10 on holiday at a beach mission, I asked Jesus into my life. And it was also clear to me at the time because my maternal grandmother was seriously ill that all the family needed help to cope with that, which was going to be the passing away of that grandmother. And before I reached the age of 10, we've never had such a thing happen in a family. In recent years, I've discovered a bit more about our nation's destiny and purpose. We're aware, most of us, whether we pay a lot of attention to it or not, but once we were a great missionary sending nation, taking the gospel to the nations. But with the gospel, we took the sword with challenges to suggest that different nations should adopt our culture, our way of doing things. And not least, we took the Masonic system, which in reality is multi-faith and antichrist. This is the system now plaguing the entire world because most leaders are into it, an ungodly system of control. And when you hear that phrase, one world order, that's where this ungodly system is heading. Each one of us has to make our choice. Serve money 
or serve God. He may never have seen it in such a black and white presentation. But if you look at the rhetoric surrounding the dialogue of how to vote in our forthcoming referendum, you recognize one issue above all seems to relate to money. Now, if we believe our safety lies in how much money we have, we are, I suggest, in danger. We all know we need money to survive in the system in which we exist. But this system will disintegrate because the rest the debt surrounds us and the likelihood that the financial system shall crash is close. Small wonder, perhaps, in Luke 4, Jesus says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And that was what he said after fasting 40 days in the wilderness. He knew he could manage without eating and drinking. None of us possibly have put ourselves to that situation ever. But it is a fact. And sometimes going without the natural gives us a greater awareness spiritually. It may not appeal to you, because you may have confidence you can survive on your own wits. So I gently say, it is time to learn how to live outside the world system. The system of the world, which is what the EU is operating, seeks to take control of us all, and will eventually, by its inevitable failure, make us all subject to its draconian measures. This is our choice. But our trust in the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, creator of us, created in the words of Jesus, that we might have life in all fullness. Or would our trust in our governmental system. But should it succeed in entrenching us in the EU, will put us all in peril. This is not meant to be a doom and gloom. This is meant to be a reminder God so loved the world. He knew ahead of time that the world, in the world we were living, we'd have trouble. But, he said, be of good heart. I have overcome the world. How has he done it? He's made a way for us to constantly have relationship with our Father in heaven, by which he taught that prayer to his disciples, our Father. I'm sure you know the one. When we pray that, it's amazing what there is in it that helps us to remember, not our will, but his be done on earth. Because, of course, he is coming again, and we should make ourselves ready for that moment, not for the doom and gloom that we might be in should we not make this important decision. Bless you, and thank you for listening. Three.